Hello everyone, my name is Dean, let's talk crypto. This is where you subscribe for daily Bitcoin updates and technical analysis. We track the price of Bitcoin as a proxy for the cryptocurrency markets at large. All right, let's get into it. What's Bitcoin doing? Uh, let's look at, let's zoom out a bit. We're on the hourly time frame, but let's zoom out to the four hourly so we can see more clearly. All right, we still have our inverse head and shoulders, and we are still maintaining market structure. That's the first thing, all right? We still have, uh, sorry, let me turn off the magnet for this so I can draw this. Okay, there, you still have your inverse head and shoulders. You still have your right shoulder um, essentially higher than your left shoulder. So you're still in technically, again, technically what seems to be a strong bullish pattern it's not as strong as it was on saturday or early sunday but it's still strong technically because this right shoulder is higher than the left shoulder and it is an inverse head and shoulders it's a valid pattern which if it broke out would have our uh, technical target to 52.5 so we're still in that pattern we have not yet broken it however we have failed to break resistance three times now. And in technical analysis, it's either three times or four times. And if you don't do it then, then you will, will most likely um, show so serious signs of weakness and break structure. So let's zoom into the hourly time frame to see more clearly. Uh, but if you appreciate that quick analysis, everything up front, summary at the outset, for those of you who are pressed for time, smash the like, subscribe, share the video. Now I'm going to go into why I said I said what I said. All right, hourly time frame. Let's get rid of this pattern so we can see a little more clearly. Uh, it's not as if there's not enough going on this chart as it is. All right, so basically this last attempt on the 28th resulted in an ABC correction, okay? This is another reason I'm not freaking out. I know based on uh, Elliott Wave analysis that corrections are made in ABC patterns, right? This is a flat correction, which it would be called a flat correction. So this was the attempt, right? Uh, and this is why I'm not counting this as an attempt. This is the attempt. This is the ensuing correction from the attempt. I hope everybody sees that. It's clear ABC flat correction. And what's happening now is you're getting a consolidation, much like you got over here, right? This consolidation is basically uh, price action gearing up for another attempt, a fourth, in my opinion, and last attempt. Um, so we're basically getting buyers to... Uh, buy at this price and say, hey, do you think this is the lowest price Bitcoin will go in this in the immediate uh, short time? Uh, it's a great opportunity for a long if you think that it's going to uh, breach on the fourth attempt. It's showing signs of strength. If you go even further down to the 30 minute time frame, we're showing serious bullish divergence, right? This is a high. This is a top, right? Let's try it out really quickly. This is a top and this is a top, right? So that's the top you're looking at in the RSI. That's high on the price action, lower on the price action. That's lower on the RSI, higher on the ISI, RSI here. That means you're going to get um, a serious move upwards, right? Will that move propel us through our band of resistance or not? That's the question. I hope everybody saw that. So let's go back to our hourly time frame continue our discussion. Uh, and again, I hope everybody sees, let us show how many attempts we've made. Okay. We've made one attempt uh, at breaching the span of resistance got rejected. We've made another attempt got rejected. That's number two. This is number three. 
This is the consolidation. This doesn't count. This is, sorry, the, the B, the B wave. I, over the weekend, didn't alert you to this C wave because it's possible that this correction uh, would be invalidated if we broke this higher high. Seriously, you, you, there is such a thing as a running flat, meaning that the B wave can rise above a bit um the previous high and still correct down c but if it kind of goes then that uh correction is invalidated and i didn't know the strength of bitcoin so rather than say we're definitely going to get a c wave in the correction it you know nothing's changed right instead of making predictions it's better to just work with what you have in the charts so wait and see uh i think that's more prudent so this is what we have in bitcoin again you're showing signs of strength. You're going to retest. But if you do not make it through, then I would say Bitcoin is in for it and is most likely going to correct to the next. See, I've got, I, I even have, uh, sorry. I'm still in. I even have this alarm set because if we make this lower low, I know that we're losing market structure. That's why I've I've got this alarm set down here. Uh, but that that's pretty much it for Bitcoin. Uh, you you really want to get through this time, and uh, fourth time is really I don't I I can't imagine we get rejected and kind of hang out and still make a higher high. Right, we were making higher highs still. This is a lower. Uh, so this is a lower low. This is a higher low. This is a higher high. No, we're making lower, higher lows. Sorry, we're making higher lows, uh, but we're not making higher highs. We're making higher lows. I can't imagine we still make higher lows if we get rejected one more time. I could be wrong, um, but this right shoulder is really kind of on its last legs, in my opinion. Uh, but for now, I would say wait until this retest. Uh, it's imminent. I would say anytime uh, today, maybe to, uh, this evening you should see it. And if we get rejected, then that's a good time to uh, exit your positions. If you're in positions uh, that you, you can't, you can't afford to take a dip in and where are we going to dip in? How far are we going to dip if we do dip? That is the next question. All right. So where is our support? Our support is still right here at 47.5, right? We still have support at 47.5, which we're kind of uh, using right now, but we've used, um, yeah, we've used it once or twice before. And then we have more support at 46.6, it seems. So we have support. There's a lot of support levels. Bitcoin's not going down to zero, even if we get rejected from here. So that's Bitcoin. I hope you enjoy that. I hope you've gotten value from that. If you have, please like the video, subscribe and share. Uh, it would help the channel immensely. And I hope you all have a good day. And I'll see you tomorrow.